And let's go to 2018. I mean, another highlight of your early career. Uh, 2018 draft, you were standing right next to your brother when he got the news the Seattle Seahawks were selecting him. How did you process him making history, number one, and also being picked by your team? Man, uh, I don't know. It's still hard to put it in words. Like I said, man, uh, that, when that happened, I was crying more to him. So it was a lot. I remember of, that. I remember it that. Lot, yeah, it was a lot of emotions. But I feel like what people didn't see was the process up until, like, he got actually drafted. Like, understand mm-hmm. this is a guy who was there day one, you know, for the publicity and everything, you know, being the guy who he is. He knew he wasn't going day one, but he sat there, you know, uh, got suited up, you know, uh, you know, shaking hands, taking pictures, you know, to give that look that the NFL wanted, you know, from my brother. You know, this is history in the making. We want you to be a part of that. To day two, dressing up again. This is a now. This is a day he's like, you know what? I possibly could go. I checked mm-hmm. off every box. You know, I, I I accomplished this in college. You know, I went to the combine. I made history at the combine. I did that. You know, I'm a marketable guy. You know, I got good character. So you know, you come into this this time, you getting dressed. You want to check off every box, leave no regrets. And you know, he felt that. You know, going to day two, and it doesn't happen. So yeah. the type of when it says like, dang man, they. They made me come out here and all this happened and I don't know where I'm going. So think about the pressure that he's going through. So I'm like, shoot, I'm feeling the same thing. Mm-hmm. And people ask me, I know see I was going to draft them. Not at all. Not one bit. Yeah. Real, but- re- real quick for you. Can you give us a little insight about your brother? And if you don't know about Shaquille's brother, he doesn't have two full arms, but he got drafted, played collegiate football, successful, made it to the NFL, uh, was successful as well. But give us a little story, if you can share with us, where you – because, you know, we oftentimes complain about anything. You know what I mean? Yeah. We yeah. call it what first world problems. You know, if something is not there, if your body not feeling well. But your brother was not blessed with two full arms, but never allowed that to uh, detour his dreams. But do you have a story where you actually was probably feeling down and you looked at your brother, you saw him doing something like, man, this man getting it. If he getting it, I got to get it as well. True, man. It's even hard to even give you a story where I felt like I was down on myself. Then I looked at him. To find motivation, I feel like it was always there. Mm-hmm. So I was the guy who was like, I can't let up. I can't let up. I can't let up. You know, uh, growing up, my dad used to say, man, you know what? Your brother was trying to take the easy way out. You were talking about my brother. Mm-hmm. You know, in my head, I'm thinking like, man, I just, I can't lose. I can't lose, you know? And I was always motivated by him because he was always the one. Like, if anybody asks, like, man, who the best one out of y'all two? We always together. We always say, yeah, man, you know, we even. Yeah. But why? Games and stuff from high school. I mean, Little League, high school to college. He was amazing. He was that guy. He was the best one out of us two. We've been totally honest. He was that guy. Mm-hmm. So my thing was, he's already so good. And he didn't have to work as hard as me. So I had to keep going. He motivated me. So it was never no time where I was like, man, I feel, you know, uh, I can't get through this. Then I looked at him like, oh, you know what? Yes, I can. Yeah. I was always never trying to fail because I knew he was that guy this whole time. So someone who I looked up to at the same time. Uh-huh. So, yeah, I, mean, dope, I was trying to, everything I tried to accomplish. Ooh, I was hoping he was happy about it, you know? Yeah. So pretty cool. He always motivated me. And speaking of emotions, let's go through the emotion roller coaster. 2009 playoff against Green Bay. 19. <laughs> I'm sorry, 2019 playoff. Yeah, 2019. The 2019 playoff against mm-hmm. Green Bay. When you and your brother shared a sack against the great Aaron <laughs> Rodgers. <laughs> also, how surreal was that moment when you got when you saw the uh, celebration afterwards? Do you remember the play call also? Man, so the play call was a, it was a corner blitz. Yeah. So I remember everything that happened, and it was so crazy because I'm sitting here trying not to show it. <laughs> I'm looking <laughs> like I'm trying to creep in. So, hey, no um, question. You, know, you got hey, you can't show that corner blitz too early because you, you know that tackle or that end man gonna point you out. Yeah, it got to be perfect. So this yeah. whole time, I'm telling my brother, once we got the play call, I, said, I ain't going to look at you. I ain't looking. I ain't looking. So this mm-hmm. whole time, we wait for the play, and it was a crucial moment. You know, you're talking about third down. Like, we yeah, need right. You know, in the crucial game. So for it to happen, and the celebration was definitely, that was just, I don't know how that even happened. It wasn't playing. <laughs> it came like that. So it, it was always cool. But it was funny when they first said, it was like, uh, yeah, you know, uh, Shaquem Griffin got the sack. He just won the interview saying, nah, man, I'm sharing that shot with my brother. And it was his first sack of the season. Yeah. So it was an emotional moment for him as well, you know, get a chance to, you know, to share that moment, you know, I guess a, a, a great like that. 
in a, a big time situation, you know, to make that play, it was awesome. I feel like, you know, that's something I always remember. But uh, yeah, man, that's experience. It's hard to put into words, man. Understand that we got a chance to, you know, um, make history from uh, little league, high school, to college, to playing at the highest level ever, and making a play like that on the same team with your twin brother. That's something you always talk about. That's a it dream story. Well. That's a dream story. So, man, you guys have been living a dream, you know, when it comes to athletically doing everything together and then getting drafted to the same team. Like, man, that's that's, that's, crazy. that's, that's dope. beyond rare. It's insane, bro. Yeah. So. 